as you guys can see, we lost all the cars. We're losing the house. I'm broke now. Psych. We're finally moving. I'm a bit pissed, honestly, because a lot of emotional attachment to this house. It's been, I believe, over a year since I moved here. But the issue is Ferrari is coming right now, next couple of days. Don't have parking spots here. Move to a bigger place with a garage, two times bigger than this house, has a pool, eight bathrooms, six bedrooms, something like that. Huge house. And uh, I feel bad for moving from here because if I had a garage here, I would have stayed. A lot of emotional attachment to this house because I bought the McLaren here. We did two events here. A lot of memories here, but new place. This is going to be a short one, boys. As you guys can see, we changed the setup. This is the new office. We still didn't finish. We still have a lot of work to do. Put a monitor here, monitor there, TV there. I'm going to do a full house tour video soon, but I decided to shoot this short video and post it because if you're inside my free Telegram channel, by the way, you can find the link in the bio or in the YouTube bio. We're close to 13,000 members right now. And I basically posted a poll inside the free Telegram channel asking people, what do you want me to talk about next? And most of the people chose connections. Let me start with talking about my own personal experience with connections and how connections helped me to get to the point where I am right now. So go back five to six years ago, I was making a very little money, tried a bunch of businesses. I was still on the start, I would say. And I basically found this group, which was ex very interesting to me because it's like a lot of people that are interested in online money, making money online, blah, blah, blah. I would have said the name of this group, but it closed a long time ago. The owner of the group, I don't know what he did, it basically disappeared. But how did that group help me get to the position where I am right now? So basically I joined that group and I was very interested of what the owner of the group was doing because back then the owner of the group was promoting the business I am running right now and the business that made me a multi-millionaire OFM. And when I joined the group, I saw that people were joining the group all the time. It wasn't like I did something special in my mind. I was like, oh, I did something special, but like I was just another guy inside that group. I don't even remember how much I paid, but I believe it was a big chunk of the money I had saved up back then. But in my mind, I was like, even if the group wasn't that good, at least I'm going to meet people that want the same thing that I do and maybe we'll become friends. That was my mentality other than learning and developing new skills. So I saw that joining the group wasn't something that interesting. And then I moved literally two or three days after I joined the group. I moved to a place where a bunch of the guys from that group were staying and just sent them a picture out of nowhere with the keys and the place was like guys look i mean because they posted on uh, the group that they moved to that building blah 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 and in my mind it was like how can i make this even better because you can get so far by just typing you know you need to talk to people you need to build trust you need to become friends you need just sitting next to the monitor and typing is not going to take you anywhere you need to go out and experience more not saying that it's a bad thing to also make friends online i have a bunch of friends online but at one point to become closer and start trusting each other more you have to meet or like video calls something just i've seen a lot of people they create this persona with a anon account and a fake name and then everyone starts calling them that fake name and it's just sad bro, like, why are you scared, what are you hiding? Back to the subject, I moved there, I met the guys, two of the guys were already making big money, like, one of the guys, this is five to six years ago, I believe, was making somewhere to 40 to 50k a month, and trust me, six years ago, doing 40 to 50k a month online was... <laughs> 
like no one has ever heard about this before like those numbers online so what i did was i became very close to those guys started hanging out we started going uh, to the mountains we became friends basically and i showed them that i'm a person that you can trust i'll be down or whatever like we're a team we're friends we're buddies we're brothers right now and uh, this is how i got introduced to this business basically i already had a couple of models that i can basically just start with we did a lot of trial and error together but you never know when you meet that one person that can give you some little tips that will basically change the game forever for you so one of those two guys was that person that taught me a lot. He told me, look, this is how we do this, this is how we do that. Instead of doing this, do that, blah, blah, blah. And basically this one simple connection took me to start making good money online. But now I'm going to get to how I evolved from there and how I developed even more and more connections and more skills. And that was basically how I started very early in this business. I ended up overlapping everyone that I talked to regarding this business because I see a lot of people in this specific business that go after method, 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 method. Oh, I need this method, I need this method. Uh, bro, a method will work for a short period of time. What you need is consistent info. What you need is updates. Anything happens, anything gets patched, you need people around you that are doing the same thing. This guy can try this, the guy can try that. This is why I'm going to plug my private community as well. This is why we're the best in this business. This is why we have the biggest and the most successful coaching and private community when it comes to OFM. Because you don't have to worry about the updates, you don't have to worry about the patches, you don't have to worry about software, you don't have to worry about bots, you don't have to worry about problems with the law, taxes, you don't have to worry about anything. You basically have the perfect blueprint from A to Z. And I've been posting on my Telegram channel. We have guys making 100,000 a week. We have guys making 50K a week. We have guys making 100,000 a month. We have people making insane numbers when it comes to this business. And this is all a result of hard work, having the right information, having the right guidance. I'm not alone in this private community thing. We're like eight admins together. One person is in charge of TikTok, one person is in charge of Tinder, one person is in charge of Bumble, one person is in charge of Reddit. Basically, the best players in the game when it comes to, let's say TikTok, I got the best guy right now that has an OFM agency doing TikTok. Same thing with Instagram, same thing with Tinder. Teamed up, made literally the best ever community you can ever think of when it comes to this business back to the main subject of this video connections and that same exact group i met a guy as well i did a vlog with him a couple of weeks ago hassan mr overpaid if you guys didn't watch the vlog you can check the vlog here another person that became extremely close and a person that i can trust when it comes to a bunch of things I helped him a lot with his business. He helped me a lot with my business. And I'm going to repeat this again. You never know when you're gonna meet the person that is going to basically change your business. And those people, there's very, very low and little chances that you're going to meet people like this, like at school or in university or at the club it's i'm not saying it's impossible but it's rare you have a lot higher chances of meeting such people in online groups when it comes to making money making money online people that are interested in becoming financially free and if it wasn't for those connections that led me to the position i am right now plus the hard work plus everything i put in plus all the add-ons, everything, the hustling day in and day out, all of that. Who would have known? Like, I don't know where I would have been right now. So this is why I'm telling you guys, connections, extremely important. Make sure you pick the right people. Make sure you put your trust in the correct people. Make sure that you are offering something to those people so that they can offer something back. And that's basically the importance of connections. I'm going to end this with another live example of mine. I mean, now it's not an example anymore because I moved, I'm in another place. New house, big house, big mansion. Can't wait to show you guys the house tour because this house is insane. 
slip to be insane. But the house I was staying at before, the one where we started the video, literally next to my house, there is a car workshop, service shop where you can fix your car. And the guys that work there, they see me every day. They're part of my, they were part of my life because I stayed for a while. One and a half years there, they were seeing me every day, go into the McLaren, come out with the Rolls, go in with the Euros, come out with the Porsche. They know that in that specific house, someone lives that is young and has a lot of money. So me watching a lot of Narcos movies, a lot of gangster movies, I like to watch those types of movies and and listen to those podcasts with people that were on that level because it interests me the way those people think like how they play each and every move to stay protected all the time one thing i did with that service shop was basically telling him good morning every day asking him how's business i even referred multiple friends of mine to go there intentionally even if the car was like only for a checkup i paid for the checkup i told them Go there, tell them that you're from me, blah, blah, blah. Be nice with him. Tell him that I talk nice about him all the time because you never know when someone wants to rob me, do something. Who's he going to ask? He's going to ask the guy that we're door to door, basically. He's going to tell him, oh, here, take this 100 euro, 200 euro. Tell me what time this guy leaves, what time he comes home, what time he does this. Basically, this is a scenario that can happen. Some of you might be like, oh, this guy is exaggerating or I don't know, but like, let it be safe than sorry. Thank you for anyone that watched and stuck till the end. Hopefully this video was beneficial to most of you. And apologies for not posting that consistent. Was extremely busy with the move. We received the Ferrari as well. I'm gonna do a vlog with the Ferrari as well. And see you boys next time.